I was down on the swan after work, just heading out for a nice brim sesh. It was bottom of the tide, but it was looking real fishy. The gear I was using, first off was a Daiwa Bait Junkie Minnow 2.5 inch. This was one was in Bloodworm and I was using a 1 16th size 1 jig head. Your typical brim setup basically. When you get a hot tail like this or the first one, you often get a big hatching of flying ants, which is perfect for the brim. It also brings in lots of other bait fish. Usually means it's a good time to bring out the top water lures, but today it just brought in heaps of bait fish. And I could see something harassing them as well. I thought it was just gonna be some tailor. So my setup is my classic one to three kilo Veritas rod. This is the old 3O, the good one. Uh, Stratic 2500 reel with five pound Siglon braid and six pound leader. Gotta love that feeling. I initially thought that I was snagged. Soon realized it was something much bigger. You can see the fine ants everywhere as well. So I'm just worried about getting spooled here. I've got the five pound and I lost about 20 meters of it in my last fish as well when I had a bad uh, wind knot. I think I would probably have about 120 meters on there or so. Plus the backing as well. But you really don't want to be getting down to that. So I'm slowly pulling it in towards me. It's hard to tell how big it is at this stage. Just because with the one to three kilo rod, anything you know over 50 centimeters feels massive. Snag first. So I've got the rod held up nice and high, and I'm using the full flex of the one to three kilo rod. I've only got the light braid on, so I haven't nipped up the drag either. I'm just setting it to what it was before. The the drag is set to how strong the line is. And that's why I've waded out away from the, the shore as well, because I know there's lots of rocks around closer to the shore and I want to give myself the least amount of chance of getting busted off. So I'm just slowly walking with it, slowly bringing it in. Another big run. I know it's going to take a while. Just staying mobile as I can, walking with the fish so it doesn't have to fight along the five pound. Another huge run. Really worry about getting spoiled on that one too. I've had to cut out bits and pieces of this and fast forward parts, but otherwise it would go on forever. I think the total fight was about 15, 20 minutes. I think the old 2500 reel might need another service after this one. Luckily I only got it done a few months ago. So the fish is starting to swim more parallel to the water here, which is why I've walked out further as well. I just want to keep it away from the bank. I know this area pretty well, so I know where there's going to be logs, I know that where there's um, chunks of rock which I really want to keep it away. Any little 
Nick on the line. He'll bust straight away. There I lost a shoe. So I was wearing those funky Crocs and one gone. The bottom of my foot was cut right up after this fight. So I'm slowly just walking up with the fish, it's starting to tire out. So I thought anyway. So it was at this point where I thought I need to make a small little change. I know that about 20-30 metres down here there's a submerged tree in the water and I thought if I don't nip up the drag slightly I might end up getting tangled in that tree then it's definitely all over. So I'm only doing it the tiniest click by click and I'm walking slower as well just to put a little bit more pressure on it. I have to also keep letting the fish run and uh, keep on swimming as well. The only way that I'm going to be able to land it up on this bank is if it's been real tired and uh, to the point where it basically gives up. If it tries to fight or flick as I pull it up onto the bank, it's going to snap for sure. I keep on cutting up my feet. first eyes on it. I realise how actually huge it is. Bigger than I thought. Still got a bit of fight in it, but it's coming to an end now. After seeing it, I had to double take to make sure that the camera was still on. see the silver coming closer and closer. still in disbelief. I couldn't believe that little bait junkie pulled this monster in. One to remember forever. All those trips chasing Mulloway and I get my PB on my 1-3 to three kilo rod and 5 pound braid. Insane. After a few photos and a quick measure, gave him a couple minutes to swim went off fine. Thanks for watching. For more Perth Metro videos, please subscribe. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section.